There we are. He's like up all the way enough to. Nah, that's fine. I'm going to just zoom in there so we can see these four. You got straight hit on, or you got to hit the button? Good. Nah, that's good. Uh -huh. can't maintain three bar very well without being here with my hand on it. All right, so obviously a problem there. Two of them low, one's about, what, 60? Yeah, this is 50, 50, 50 uh, 68, 70. almost yeah. 70, and then 100 and Yeah. So let me get rid of that. We'll do one other test. Now what we could do eight seconds. There we do math. Maybe. Seconds is probably pretty good. So, all right. So we got an issue, which is good. Yeah, yeah. So but now, now I, th now I think what's that the, the issue? Yeah. I think the, in the injectors are here. Am I in your way? Yep. All right. So, you remember from the last run, this injector uh, was relatively low. If I remember right, it was about 50 and 50, like these two, weren't they? These two were the yes. same. Yeah. This was our best, this was our worst? No, it was up to six, or was seven, this the worst? That was the worst one. This was the worst one, okay. So anyways, we pulled this out. Uh, we changed the filters. Do you have that old filter? All right, what's in this dirty paw of mine is a filter that goes right in the very end of the top of that injector. Now, what this does it's kind of a stringer and that is going to go into the center just kind of the inlet there we go so that teeny tiny little thing right there uh, that was clogged with dirt and we've got very very reduced flow because of that so we went ahead and changed that particular filter right there and we're going to take a look and see how they flow again and we're going to see that oh yeah if we can look at that here's a picture of a picture let's see maybe we'll just have to email that to me I got light all over the place anyways that's kind of a zoomed picture of that nasty looking filter so uh, you can just email it to me maybe I can plug it in and make it a little cleaner so we're going to just go ahead and make another, just another run with these things. So we'll flow them, see what we get. Hopefully not catch things on fire. So this one originally, we had about 100, we got about 102 here. This guy right now is about 112, 114. We've got about 68, 67 here. And this guy, this poor guy right here, didn't make it to 40. So, uh, we need to replace injector uh, filters on all of them. Put them back in the car, see what happens. All 
All right, so there's where the filter goes. All we gotta do is put a little screwdriver in there. So, or sorry, a little screw. So, gonna thread a little sheet metal screw in. Just gonna stand that straight up on its end. Yeah, it's okay, they get the idea. Put it straight up and down now. All right, then we're gonna put a uh, pair of dikes, pair of pliers, something on that screw, and we're gonna smack the dikes or the uh, pliers with a hammer and yank it out. Nothing real fancy, nothing elegant about pulling it out. Uh, we're gonna put the new one back in, probably a few taps of a hammer and a punch. Uh, they do make special tools for this, but I don't have them. Uh, I use what I got. So you get the idea of what we're gonna do. There it is, isn't that beautiful? Okay, so there you go. Screws got them pulled out. We'll press the new one in, do all of them, flow it again. Do it again. All right, all the filters replaced. Did I do the flow before, the six second deal? Well, you do it again, you have it twice. All right, I guess I'll do it again. Okay. Now we know this, this helped out tremendously and what I had to do to f do this fixed flow is to decrease the pressure, mostly because the pump in this little tester cannot keep up with the volume that these injectors flow. Uh, so I decreased the pressure but I also dropped the time down. So we'll go ahead and set it up for a time, the fixed flow or the open flow. Again, this is lovely. All of them are uh, within about a cc of each other. Very, very close, which is nice. Okay. Now, we've kind of established that these injectors are able to flow the same amount at, uh, again, the pintle wide open. The next thing I'm going to do is set it up for a pulsed flow. Uh, this is what it would be actually doing in the car. Uh, in the car hopefully we never ever see this wide open or this static. So we're going to go ahead and run this pulsed flow. pretty even. This one, well, let's see, I've got about 56 milliliters of cc here, 56 here. This is about 55 and this is about 52, maybe just a little over 52. Uh, so we use a little bit less than the others and again what the, uh, the test suggests uh, is that something in the injector itself, the pitle, magnetic field strength, spring, what have you, is not exactly the same as the other three, and uh, therefore it's flowing slightly less. Uh, now, I already swapped out the connectors, the plugs, uh, so it's not the machine that's causing that to happen. Uh, the other thing that you might argue is that this manifold may be giving us some problems. Um, I tend not to go that route. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty precise made piece here. Uh, the other thing also, if, if everything were equal inside here, uh, fuel is coming in the center of this manifold, so you could argue that maybe the two inner are getting the fuel first. Uh, however, if that were the case, this end one here would not be as high as he is. He'd probably be along the lines of what this is. So again, I'm, I'm going to discount that as a possibility. So this injector flows slightly less, uh, but again, somewhere within four percent of the others uh, so maybe a little less so that's all I got Mr. Taylor's got some injectors that flow a lot more now and then maybe the engine will run happy until it clogs again <laughs> <laughs>